I'm here to talk about common scam in the UK 2024. Every year these scammers are improving their tactics and it is just important that you know all of them so you don't fall a victim. First of all, if you're watching this, come closer, okay? If you have ever almost fall for a scam, remove the same card now, put it in the bin because let me tell you, the moment they try to scam you in the UK and you almost fell for it, you're done for because you are going to be in their system, in their database forever. They don't give up. I'm telling you out of experience, I am in their database. Before I tell you the story, let me introduce myself. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new or seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Faith or Johnny. And on this channel, we share life experience in the UK, vlog, lifestyle, tips on how to travel because we are nicheless, okay? We do not have a niche. So if you like to follow me on this journey, then subscribe to this channel so you get to see everything that I talk about. my story when we came to the uk in 2020 then i wanted to get iphone 12. that was the time i started my youtube channel i was using iphone 8 then since i've been on youtube this year is the only time i started using camera i bought camera before i took it back i went back to using my phone i wanted to get iphone 12 i wanted to buy cash but people advised me to buy it on contract as it will help to build my credit score but of course i didn't know that because i'm new in the uk it will be difficult for you know all this mobile network to give me contracts so i was not trying to go through a third party maybe like i don't know what i was thinking but i went on google i was researching phone contract this one this one that was like putting my email my numbers everywhere until one person called saying they are from one mobile network and they see that i want to get a contract i was like yeah and they were like okay they will help they will set a contract up for me right now i should give them my details you know i started giving them my details because i was like i'm in the uk the uk cannot be bad there are no scammers in the uk that was when i came to the uk with this african mentality whatever it is that you think about the uk leave it back home because <laughs> it's different it's uk now ah they can't be scammers in this country everything is documented like you know i didn't know that hey nigerian scammers they learn where uk scammers they like the scam in this country is crazy they scam everywhere if you're looking for a job there are scammers i don't even want to go into that i started giving them my details until i got to a point where the card detail i've even given them halfway Something now tell me faith. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And you know me, you see trust. Me and trust, we are like this. We live far apart. For me to trust someone, ah, if I trust you in this life, just know that anybody else can trust you. I was already having second thoughts. I'm like, you know what? And I told them like, you know what? Can I call you back? They're like, oh no, you have to do it now. If you stop, the way they were even like urging me to complete the process. It was not irritating me. I'm like, you know what? I want to think about it and I'll call you back. I want to know if I really need this or not. Because they wanted to deduct the money from my account. They said that they were going to charge me 500 pounds. Then I can pay the rest gradually. And I agreed. They were almost... I dropped the call. I went on Google and sort of checked how do they do phone contract. Because I was new. And I don't know, like I said in one of my previous videos, when we came to the UK, there are not a lot of content creators talking like... There are no YouTubers like these. Finding information on YouTube was difficult. So I had to do it myself. So I now went on Google and did some research like phone contracts. And that's when I found out that, oh, your phone contract has to be done in store, not on the phone. I'm like, oh, so it's scam. I'm like, oh, so when they were calling back, I refused to pick. And immediately I went on my monzo bank because it was months i was using then i blocked my card i requested a new one and all of that the mistake i made was not discarding my sim i should have taken the sim out of my phone and put it in the bin but i did not the network i was on then was ee when i was working with o2 as customer service rep because we were dealing with phone contract now nah, i don't understand that oh then i was being scammed 
so as a staff you get like some benefits but you have to be using old to sim card but because i didn't want to buy a new sim card i just wanted to keep using my old sim i now converted my ee sim to old to so that's the only saving grace i have now because now when they call me i'm like oh we are from ee i already know it's scam because i'm not with ee for over two years now <laughs> so these people still call me to tell me different things to give me now they don't they no longer call to give me phone offers they call for different things like they've been calling me since i almost fell for their scam four years ago so it's like when somebody try and i know i don't fall they transfer my number to another group of scammers that will call me most of the accents are like asians i've never heard any british person or an african accent they are all asians like indian accent trying to like scam me i've been using the same for over four years i can't just discard it now i know that i'm in the radar so whenever i get uh, a call that is unknown i usually don't pick it if i don't have your number saved on my phone you, you go call me tired no go pick this is from my experience be careful discard your sim card if you've already almost fall for it if you, the sim card you've not used it for so long discard it so that you don't make mistakenly fall for the next one okay because they're not going to delete your number from their database they're going to have it forever Another news scam in town, this one is sophisticated and <laughs> all thanks to AI. So if you, I don't know if you've heard of deep fake. I am not Morgan Freeman and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? Or is it simply the ability to feel? I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? Deepfake is an AI tool. Deepfake can look like me and sound like me. So they use um, the person's voice. For example, let's say they would use my voice or my video to send to you and tell you that I need money to sound like me. So if anybody call you to be like, oh, I'm going through this, da, 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 I need money. And this person sound like the person you know, just that the person i would call you back or give me some time to think about it cut the call and call the person's number again that's if they've not hacked the person because now they can't even hack your whatsapp and take over your whatsapp for like 24 hours and be messaging your people to tell them to send money to you like they've hacked my whatsapp before in nigeria but i was able to quickly get my whatsapp back because i discovered like almost immediately so when i was discovered that's how, like you see me and trust we are far away that is that i've never been scammed before because even the moment i just fall like this i don't already know say ah 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 faith you don't fall now scam now scam i mean they can hack your whatsapp and call you and sound like the person you know it is not the person hang up and call them back or wait till the next day and call them back so if you've not heard of the ai tool called deep fake do research about it because deep fake it looks like the person sounds like the person how you would know the person calling is a scammer is that they always sort of tell you to do something now 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 they sort of add urgency to so whatever it is they're asking you to do they want you like oh if you don't do it now this will happen like either they use urgency or they use scare tactic they make you scared and like like oh if you don't do it this will happen my husband too has almost fell for them so both of us we are in their database they call my husband a whole lot and they call me too so my husband almost fell for them because when we got into the uk his own was that they told him that somebody was using his face to defraud a company so that they are calling from the government department of security agency blah 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 that where is this thing what's his name they were asking for so many personal details i'm like 
government officials will not call you they will either send you a letter to your house warning you they don't call you so if anybody is calling you i'm from the government something service da 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 it's fake it's scammers so just be very very careful i mean there are other so many scam tactics but i wouldn't go into them right now so do your research stay updated with the new latest trend and and in, in scam that is going on but i just decided to talk to you guys about deep fake because that one is more realistic and anybody can fall for this one your whatsapp can be hacked so many tactics out there if somebody call you for money and it seems this person can never call me for money like you know the kind of people you have in your life if you feel like no this person can never call me for money your instincts is true like it's right hang up and call the person directly or wait till the next day and call them and if it's truly them you can apologize that you just wanted to be sure you're not being scammed if you like this face and you want to connect with me hit the subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up share with your loved ones so everyone stay updated and hopefully you are not in their database like me peace out bye